Has it ever occurred to you that physics doesn't completely rule out teleportation? Understanding the concept of it starts with this. If you want teleportation, the first thing you need is to understand quantum information. Quantum information is the idea that every particle carries a set of properties that define it. This is the foundation of all realistic teleportation concepts. The quotations are there because, I mean, you can never know what wacky stuff someone could come up with. Let's ignore the possibility of a sudden breakthrough and focus on moving quantum information and how it could be done. But wait a second, it has already been done? Turns out it has. All the way back in 1993 actually, scientists proved quantum teleportation is real. They took the full quantum state of a particle, that being its spin, orientation, and all the microscopic details that define it, and transferred that state to a different particle instantly, using quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is a phenomenon where two particles become linked so deeply that measuring one instantly determines the state of the other, even if they're separated by vast distances. Before measurement, each particle exists in a fuzzy mix of possible states. But because they're entangled, their possibilities are connected. When one particle's state becomes definite, the others does too, at the same moment. This doesn't send information faster than light, but rather reveals a correlation created when the particles are formed. As a TLDR, no particle traveled, but its information did. Today we can teleport quantum states over 1,200 kilometers using satellites, and labs regularly teleport information between photos, ions, small atomic systems, and a variety of other extremely small things. So then, what would it take to teleport something bigger? Let's start slightly bigger, but still small, a grain of sand. This has roughly 10 to the power of 14 atoms, or this many atoms. To teleport one grain, you need to capture the exact quantum state of every single atom. But the universe and the laws of physics don't allow copying quantum information. It can only be transferred. So in this concept, the original would be destroyed in the process. And there you go. Now we can assume the same thing and scale it up to a human. Your body has around 10 to the power of 28 atoms, and this scales with your age. Your brain alone has 86 trillion neurons with roughly 100 trillion synaptic connections. As if things weren't already complicated enough, it's constantly changing at millisecond speed. Teleporting a person would mean recording the position, momentum, spin state, and entanglement relationships of every atom in your body at the same instant to an extreme, almost unimaginable magnitude of precision. Just storing all that information would require more data than the total digital storage on Earth by a factor of millions. Some estimates I found suggest that the amount of information to perfectly describe an encoded human could exceed 10 to the power of 28 bits. To put this number into perspective, the fastest transmission speed I found today was 1.02 petabits per second, being a fiber optic cable. If we do the math, sending that much data would take approximately 310,000 years. That sounds like a big issue, but if we solve that, everything is good right? Wrong. You'd also need a receiver capable of recreating the body atom by atom to the same degree of precision I mentioned before, all from raw matter. It would need a perfect supply of every element, precise assembly at the nanometer accuracy, and zero error tolerance. This is all because even just one misplaced molecule in your DNA could kill you instantly, and a tiny mistake in your brain structure could replace you with an entire different person. At that point, the process also becomes a philosophical debate. If your original is destroyed and an exact copy is rebuilt, is it still you? Is it a clone if the original is destroyed? Of course though, this wouldn't be scientifically accurate if there weren't even more issues with the concept. There's also the entanglement problem. To teleport an object of meaningful size, every atom in the original must be entangled with a corresponding atom at the destination. We've reliably, so far, entangled groups of a few dozen atoms, reliably and smoothly, sometimes in more secure cases, thousands of atoms at once, and in very few fringe and very controlled cases, about 10,000 atoms. But teleporting even a dust particle would require entangling 10 to the power of 15 atoms. Assuming we take the same numbers as before, Teleporting a human would be 10 to the power of 28, and entanglement is unbelievably fragile, and it gets broken by almost anything you could think of. Heat breaks it, light breaks it, background radiation breaks it, measurement breaks it, tiny vibrations break it, and so on. Keeping billions of atoms entangled is a feat in of itself. Keeping 10 to the power of 28 atoms entangled is currently beyond comprehensible imagination. So what would teleportation actually look like if humanity did figure all this out? Most realistic theories imagine a chamber that scans your entire body down to the quantum level, likely while you're unconscious, since the scanning process would destroy you. Your complete quantum information would be encoded into a massive data stream, transmitted at light speed, or close to it, because milliseconds matter, and then 
reconstructed somewhere else using a reservoir of atoms. There wouldn't be any portals or blue beams, just basically one version disappearing and another being assembled instantaneously. And that's why we're most likely to see only one form of teleportation during our whole lifetime. And that's the teleportation of data, powering unhackable communication, ultra secure quantum networks, and quantum computers with components that share states across huge distances. Data doesn't feel anything, and it doesn't need to move around or need to be copied perfectly down to the microsecond. Whew. So that's it, huh? Doing research on this video honestly seemed like a challenge to find just how many wrenches I could throw into the concept of realistic modern teleportation. I'm sure I missed even more too, so let me know if you guys still have any in the comments. But to end the video on a high note after all this, there is still another way to achieve travel like this, and that's wormholes, bending space and time to effectively teleport across distances. But this video is already pretty long, so drop a comment if you'd be interested in a video about that. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.